What's up, hockey card fans? Today, I've got an awesome episode for you. It involves opening up the HGA graded cards we sent out about, I don't know, three months ago. Let's dive on in. All right, all right, let's get to the card bench. How's everybody doing? It's early morning. I had a few minutes to uh, catch up and get into this thing. Man, it is just eating me alive to have this sitting around. So, before I dive in, let me explain what's going on here. There's a few things going on. First, the Patrick Waugh card. There's a Patrick Waugh rookie card in here. And uh, we're doing a drawing, and the winner of the drawing gets it. So... The drawing doesn't happen though until we hit a thousand subscribers. We're at like 155. So let me explain how this works. I don't want anything from you but you to subscribe. So I've got this Stanley Cup with all of our winners here. Which by the way, JD87, I'm looking for you. I've got your cards. He won the uh, 125 sub giveaway. We're going to do 150. These are 25 increments here. We're going to do 150 after I open these. So I just wanted to show the Patrick Waugh card because by the time we get the cup filled with names, probably over the next six months or whatever, um, you know, we'll hit the thousand and I want you guys to see it the whole time. Now let me explain this too. I have six Patrick Waugh rookie cards. The deal is I'm not giving away my best one. I'm giving away, unfortunately, I got, I'm giving away the worst one. Okay. It's a Patrick Waugh rookie card, but it's not far from my best one. It is insanely close to my best one. So, free is free. It's a drawing. It's a pr prize. But I can't give away my best one. I mean, you understand, I hope. So, if not, whatever. Still subscribe. Whatever. And get this one. It's super close to my best one. So, in the meantime, let's open this up. After you've hit subscribe, of course. So, uh, let's go. Now, here's the deal. With HGA Hybrid Grading Approach, first... They're an awesome new company. They're new, so, you know, give them a break if they're not perfect yet. I see uh, a couple things online that are pro HGA and a few things that are not a lot of things that are anti HGA, so that's good. PSA and Beckett, they've had their, everybody's got their opinions on every grading company. I'm not really here to give you mine. I'm a hobbyist and I've started a website to sell cards on because my main gig's like a web developer, so it's kind of part of my hobby to build websites. So I'm giving that a crack. If you want to check out my work, it's hockeycardsonly.com, and uh, that's where I have a lot of base cards and vintage cards, and these graded cards and stuff like that will be there. So last time I opened up cards from HGA, it didn't have a cover. It was like I opened it and I immediately saw what was in here. Now, that's that's what's going to happen. Now, I already got emailed the grades. And I looked at them, so I know what the grades are. And that's why I know the Patrick Waugh card is um, pretty good. The worst, the worst one. So there's four of those in here. And there's one baseball card in here. Give me a break. I know it's hockey cards only, but it was a family heirloom card I had to send out. Okay, so let's dive into it. I'm not going to try to keep you guys waiting. I'm going to open this and set this here because I think I'm going to actually grab this whole stack and flip it like that. Empty. Okay. Okay, we're upside down, it looks like, which is good. And we are backwards. So... That means I need to do this, do this, and do this. Okay, now the last video I did, the glare of all this, you couldn't see the cards very well. I'm going to do my best to uh, to show you guys. Um, okay, so here it is. I don't know if I want to do this one first because it could be the one I'm giving away. I already know which one it is, but... Let me show you here. You got. I I don't want to drop them, so we're gonna do it right here. Maybe I'll just. I can't pick up one. Hold on a second, y'all. Take this envelope. I'm gonna set it under card. 
right there. Oh, oh, you saw a six. I saw a six. Okay, so anyways, I don't know what card that is yet, but so here's our first Patrick Wall rookie. You can see this bottom left had an itty bitty bit. I think there's a dot. See that dot? These were found in a shoebox. But man, 7.5. That's what my other two were that I thought were mint. Or the best two I had. Okay. So there's the first one. Slide that there. Better than last time, okay? So there's one. Let's get this up here. Alrighty, what do we have? Okay. 7.5 again. So I guess that six was another couple cards down. So now we have two 7.5s. With my other two 7.5s we got on the last shipment. Okay. So as you can see, I'm saying my worst one, my best ones are 7.5s, they have four of them. Uh, let's try this. Ah, let's try this one. Ready? There was the six. I saw the six. Okay, we have another Patrick Waugh rookie card. And this one I chose to get the different, I don't know what you call this, the different label. And I think it turned out pretty good. It matches that card nice. Now this was the seven, okay? So still pretty freaking close to that 7.5. And I think this might be our last Patrick Waugh. Are you ready? This is the thousand sub giveaway card. And it is a 6.5. Only one away from my best card of Patrick Waugh. So, let me let you guys see this. Put in the comments what you think. I'm going to show the card as good as I can without the glare. Now, if you subscribe... Man, this thing's getting a little laggy. If you subscribe, this could be yours. I don't want anything else from you. It'd be cool if you liked the videos along the way and followed my collecting journey now uh i'm gonna be showing this thing off every video so i'm not gonna go too crazy corners are a five five edges are a seven five centering is an eight so fairly centered patrick walker surface is a 7.0 corners let's see what they really didn't like it's probably this top one try to get in here without a glare That way you guys can look at yours before you send them out and maybe have an idea. I probably will get really detailed pictures of this and set it on the website uh, in the next week uh, along with these because <clears throat> these will be there too. What I'm doing is uh, I'm going to give you a quick intermission. We're going to talk about something real fast. Above here I got a million cards. I got to move these. 84. These are 86. Wait a minute. 85. I have a whole box of these things. Ah, there it is. Look at this, everybody. This is my <clears throat> 86 collection. So I've got the good ones kind of set aside. There's the Gretzky. We got two of them. So we can see here, you know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. These bad boys were not easy to find. This, this one's marked, so it won't work. But you can see, uh, I have all the commons. I'm having some more back here. So I'm going to just set these guys in here for now. I'm going to leave yours out because uh, why not? But I'm just showing you, this is how I store my cards. Okay, see that? Now I'm going to go through and probably make a complete set or three from this. And the remainder will be our commons on the uh, website, which I'll have duplicates. And if you want to go and check out, I have all the photos of all this stuff now and the pricing. and You'll kind of see now the, the Patrick Waugh cards, things like that. Though the, they're never going to be sold on that site ungraded. They're all going to get graded, and they're going to be like this guy. So, yeah, that's how it's going to go. Unless it's like a 
I mean, though, that's what I'm trying to explain is the the big cards. Mario Lemieux rookie, Gretzky rookie, which I do not have, so don't even... That's going to be a minute for, for us. Um, but I do have quite a few of those. Okay, so now let's keep on trucking. What's the next card here? Oh, okay, this one. I thought... See how centered that is? I thought this one was going to be the best card we... Not best card I sent in. I have more than one of this Gretzky. Now, <clears throat> it's not in bad shape, but it did not score what I thought. So let's see. I didn't see the subgrades. We have kind of some weak corners, I suppose. Man, they're... The thing that tricked me on this is it's centered. So I guess it didn't score good on the surface either. A six on the surface. So this card was hoping to be in the eight or a nine even and have a nice vintage Gretzky. Look at my sweat. I'm sorry. So that is my 81 Gretzky third year card. Um, okay, so I'm going to set that here on the side. Okay, let's get... There's about five more. And yes, they're, it's worth the wait. Because there's some fire up in here. Okay. Let me show you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Hockey cards only. Next card. Uh-oh. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Bobby Orr, 1972. Let's flip it. I want to make sure this one is the tops. This is tops. Uh, I forgot, but it can tell in the card stock. This one had that flaw, one dot. Considered flawless otherwise, so we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. What flawless? This is, like, considered flawless on eBay. Just so you guys know, ready? Flawless on eBay with one mark on the back. That's what you're going to get. So, I looked at this thing really, really close. I looked at the corners. Look at that. 8.5. Put my centering. 5.5. So, that must be the back. There's my sweat again. Sorry, everybody. Hmm. Do we believe them? Yeah. It's not centered very good, but I didn't think they would judge the back very good. I thought the centering on the front. Look at that centering on the front. Now, do I love the black and orange? No, because it's the same one as they use on Mario Lemieux. But they are, I'm sorry, not black and orange, black and yellow. But they are black and yellow. I think if I were to do it again, the old vintage card would have got this label in black and yellow. And that's totally fair to say. But this card here um, isn't a tremendously crazy valuable card. It's not like a three or $800 card. It's only like a 20 to 30 raw I think I paid even up to 40 for this one because it was so what I thought was so clean with just a, a mark. Um, but I mean, shoot, the corners were clean, the edges were clean, the surface is technically clean. It, it, it's just straight up offset. So it would have been a six five if is the lowest one. So I guess it's whatever. Okay, moving on. I hope you guys like that one. I, that was just kind of a kind of a wild card at the time to do. I wanted to send out one of my better. Bobby Orr's that would grade high. And that was the key situation. Now this one here, you guys are going to love this one. Yarger, yeah, Yarmer Yager. In Opeachy Premier. Okay, this is like the 90s rookie card to collect. If you are to look for, if there's nothing, oh I don't, there's the Stanley Cup hologram from Pro Set. But I don't think there's a more sawed after card than this one outside of that card um from 1990 i'm thinking i don't think of any other ones anyways this one was not pack fresh but it was uh what do you call it i bought a it was open so i can't say anything about it it was a t a complete set of this in the box but not like free open packs it's like a box of like one through 150 of this. So I went through that. If you want to check out the video, I did it on video. 
And it was pretty much untouched, but not centered very well. So, ready? The Armor Yager Rookie, 8.5. So now, this was a card you want to grade if it's a 10 or a 9. But you get under that, you're going to be getting into the price of raw. So I put $20 in this thing. 8.5 is about as low as you would want to go. Okay, if you have any flaws on this card, you're... Well, it might not be worth grading. Because they're worth 20, 30, 40 raw. Um, and I think a 10's worth quite a bit, but I don't think the 8.5's and the 9's are. I think they're in the 40's and 60's. So that's eBay pricing. You can go look and see them asking for more. So I don't know what I'll ask for this, but it's, it's not going to be as much as I wished. So we'll just say that. This is one of those cards you need it to be like a 9 or a, a 9.5 or a 10. Otherwise, you're kind of just, you might as well keep it raw for a minute. Because uh, I'm assuming more, the grading companies will be coming more uh, easy to obtain. And uh, the newer companies will become more reputable. And they'll work out their bugs. And then the uh, old companies will free up, you know, maybe. And, and someday, $6 cards will become grading again. And you can, we can do that. I never was collecting during those times where you could send in 100 to PSA at like $6, $6 a piece, which is pretty cool. Okay, and the next one is the Family Heirloom, everybody. This card is almost a million dollars if it is a, a 10. And this one's not a 10. So, but it was fun to send it out still. It's kind of like a 1956 card. It's Bill Mazarowski's rookie card. Now, my uncle had this with about 50 or 100 other baseball cards I was gifted. And this is the best one of all of them, so this is the one we sent out. Me and an old card getting a 4.5. Very good X Mint Plus is, you know, I'm happy with this. I'm not going to sell this. It's going to sit on my, uh, you know, in my collection forever. So let's see, we are fairly centered, which is awesome. That's kind of all I cared about is, but I can tell this isn't centered. But I care about centering, I think, more than corners. I mean, corners would be second. So, 3-5 on corners and surface, and the edges are all right. So we did all right as a family, keeping this thing for 70 years outside of a case to get it to be a 4.5. Once I got it as a kid, because I collected hockey cards as a kid, and that's when I obtained this, this card, is my uncle gave it to me when I was a kid. And then it sat for 20 years in storage with all my cards until last Thanksgiving when I busted everything out. So, Bill Mazarowski, 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 rookie. Okay, saved the best. It's not the most expensive, but I saved the best for last. This card is awesome. Okay. It's vintage, not to be a spoiler alert. Are you guys ready for this? Steve Iserman rookie card. OPG. This is the one that had minor, very minor stain on the bottom corner. Sorry for the shakiness. But this card was really clean. Centered. Mild stain on the bottom. Are you guys ready? 1984, 7.0. Now, I don't know how I like the splash. It's a little pink, but I can handle that. 7.0 is the more important part. So we have an 8 on centering, a 7.5 on edges. The corners are a 6.0 down there. Surface is a 7. So they did not sting me hard on the coffee stain. I was under the assumption this could score with a stain on it like that, regardless of centering and condition and everything, somewhere in the threes to fives. So when this came back as a seven, I was in, I was happy. The backside's very clean. There's the corner that's out. I'll show you. That's fair to say that corner is out. You can see it far away. And it wasn't like a spanking ass clean card. So seven's totally awesome. So there it is. Those in the four Patrick Wall look rookie cards were the 10 I sent out. So I hope everybody uh, enjoyed that. We're going to do a drawing 
next and they're gonna get some Pavel Bure cards and some Ray Bork and some Mike Bossy cards and uh, subscribe if you subscribe now you will actually be in that drawing assuming you subscribe like at the end of this video because I'm gonna do the drawing probably tonight and I'm gonna be I gotta what I do is I print out the subscriber list like this real quick and usually I only have to cut the new subs and put them in but uh, I changed sizes on this thing, so I got to do a whole new print and cut them. And you'll be able to get in before that, probably, if you subscribe now. So, thank you guys. I, uh, well, anyways, I'm in the video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, a lot of you guys are awesome with your comments out there. Appreciate it. And then uh, we're doing the drawing, and then I have a mail day with a lot of new cards. More modern than normal. So... The people who collect modern stay tuned i got a lot of young guns so i'm excited a couple graded cards and again more vintage also because that's my main thing so all right guys take it easy i'll talk to you later bye not this one it's this one ha okay take it easy Thank you.